Hi, it's Kent from Impromptu Adventures. It's another great day in Nebraska. Calm winds, which almost never happens. Really warm temperature, so I've got the boat loaded up on the Spark, and we're headed out to a brand new lake today, Chalco Hills. This is gonna be the next lake in our little summer lake tour. So far, you guys, of course, have seen Lake Zarensky uh, many times on my videos, and Prairie Queen. And now we're headed out to probably the largest lake um, within just a handful of miles of my house, Chalco Hills. And then we've got some other lakes we'll do later in the summer as well. Man, I just can't get over the fact that these trees aren't moving. It is always so windy. If it's, if it's not a very windy day in Nebraska, it might be 10 mile an hour winds. So far that $50 kayak carrier that I made for the top of the car has been doing great. Have to make sure the, all the straps are tight um, every time I go out, but otherwise it's been holding in place and nothing, nothing's happened, which is just amazing. If you know anything about my history of trying to make things, it usually does not end well. That's all I can say about that. Just ask Melanie, she'll tell you all about it. jam so many people at the lake today well I decided I was not gonna wait for that uh, line of boats that was just gonna be insanity um, so one of the nice things about having so many lakes close to my house I'm just gonna go to a different one never mind on the uh, chocolate hills <laughs> we're gonna head out to Walnut Creek instead uh, also that no droning allowed I am have to research that I don't even know it's possible that at Lake Zerinsky, where I fly my drone all the time, I wonder if they had a sign at the main entrance, because I never go that way. I always come in um, to Zerinsky walking, and they don't have a sign there, so I'm going to have to check that. I'll have to go by the entrance to see if that's something that they've added to all of the lakes around here, all the uh, recreational areas. Hopefully they don't have that same sign up at Walnut Creek. No, no drawing signs yet. That's a good sign. Well, we have arrived. Let's get this boat on the water. a lot on the trail uh, trails around uh, town especially by my house but um, I had to give that up because people are stupid man the crazy stuff people do walking their dogs or just walking in a group of eight or nine people with everyone stretch off from one side of the trail to the other side of the trail. It's just kind of silly. Have a little bump. Let's see if this is a good idea. With Melanie being injured and I call her invalid instead of invalid because it's spelled the same way it can be invalid so I said she's invalid right now but she doesn't really like it when I do everything for her 
She's getting around a little bit better now. It's been a couple of weeks, but she's still pretty incapacitated. So I make breakfast for her and run and get anything she needs, coffee, and has to do, take care of all the housework. So I get to do all the dishes and chores and everything, but I really love taking care of her. She doesn't like it. She'd rather be more independent, but I can't help it. I hate to say that I wish the pandemic wouldn't end, but I have to say I do enjoy working from home, especially right now since Melanie's incapacitated. She needs a lot of assistance throughout the day. I pretty much have to be working from home regardless, but I do enjoy it. I get to hop out here on the water when the weather is good. As soon as work is over, no drive time, no downtime. Just get to pack it in and go. I'm a big movie fan. One of my probably top 10 favorite movies, just based on the number of times I've watched it, would be the original Karate Kid. It's all about finding balance. Mr. Miyagi was not wrong. This is my balance. Not sure if you can see this, but the big plane is from the Air Force Base that's not far from here. I used to work out the base. I was a contractor doing for a defense department for, uh, for a defense company, and uh, I can say all this now because it doesn't matter. The missile silos in question don't exist anymore. But I was the guy that wrote the software that ran in the ancient computers in the underground at the missile silos that decrypted the launch orders. That, that was me a long time ago. I have to say it was fairly interesting work. I was a junior programmer pretty much right out of college. And it was, it was interesting. I also wrote some of the software, although it was with another guy. Um, at that same company that, uh, what was that called, Schlifkus, S-L-F-C-S, something like that. Um, and that was the uh, ultra-low frequency transmitters that they would put on planes like that, like that big plane with an, like mile-long antenna. I can't remember how long the antenna was that they would trail when they were flying out the back of the plane for this super low frequency communication system, SLFCS, Lifkus, um, super low frequency communication system. So this thing was incredibly slow. You, know, you talk about how fast is your internet? You know, my I got gigabit, I've got, uh, you know, 100 megabit. Well, that thing was 0.75 bit. <laughs> per second. There was no K, there was no mega, there was no giga. It was less than one bit of information a second. It was so slow. It took forever to transmit and receive anything. It was crazy. Um. 